Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Reverse 1999 reaction. It's been a while since I've touched on this series. I think I've only done one other song from them before, and Adam Gubman has sent me this one. It's another one that he worked on, and this is going to be acting as kind of a public apology letter for Adam because I didn't even recognize his song in my last video, which I had already mistook for a Genshin song because I didn't look close enough, and I will still blame Bylov on my Discord for that. So either way, I wanted to get to this song now. Now, we're still in that Christmas winter season and I don't want to miss out on those vibes so I'll be getting to this one and the other Arknights one from a few days ago that I haven't listened to yet that's Christmas themed as well so without further ado let's go Miss, Miss Tooth Fairy talking we're, we're not making trouble it's the eve so may I join you I didn't expect the story in the beginning okay Ooh. Thank you for the hospitality. I should give you return gifts tomorrow, according to tradition. Ooh. All right. Back home, my this feels very nostalgic. After every Eve dinner, it's giving '90s sitcom Fine Christmas. <laughs> That was a fat drum sound. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I really like that they have the uh, kid voices in here. Yeah, this is definitely giving me that 80s, 90s, like, Christmas family movie energy. <laughs> the slow motion as the main character runs back to their family after being separated, Home Alone style. <laughs> The art style definitely is feeling like 90s anime too. Definitely has a lot of those characteristics. Ooh. Speak to me on that saxophone. Beautiful. <laughs> That was too short. I want more of that. So like I said, I'll stand by that. It's too short. I want that song to be doubled. I think there could be a whole two more verses to that and I would be completely content. It was very relaxing. Had plenty of that familial vibe to it. Just like Snowy Night from Ark Nights, this song had a lot of the similar warm energy, that Christmas feeling, you know, just that, that softness to it. Albeit this one was a lot more bring it home, bring it back to the hometown. Not quite as energetic as the other one was. So this one was a surprise. I loved the visuals of this one. I usually don't focus too much on visuals when I'm doing these videos just because it's kind of more of the point to listen. And I know that 1999 specifically that year it has something to do with this game. I'm not sure what extent. I think it's some time travel shenanigans there but all in the same it, using that art style helps really tie that warmth back the the visual style as well being so soft they threw a bunch of filters on that to make it seem more soft and degraded to get that film grain on there it just looks really good and it feels even better when it's matched with a song that harkens so much back to that 80s 90s sitcom -y, sit at home feel but that era is really the vibe i'm getting from this song that 80s 90s movie 
and or TV show where they had that big final cathartic moment where everything's coming to head and everything is being resolved. And then you see everyone just sitting by the fire as the camera pans out of the center window, something like that, you know, like that's where my brain's going when I hear this song and the visuals being a nineties aesthetic. Sure. They help with that, but the song alone, especially that full house sounding saxophone in there, that was a straight full house ass saxophone. You can't tell me otherwise, Adam. I know what you were going for family matters moment or whatever, but still a lot of the time, the point of songs like this are to match those types of aesthetics. You find this inspiration in certain media that makes you want to write songs about it. And I know that Adam has done that before. I've had talks with him about it before, just utilizing things from his own childhood and his own young adulthood in order to bring forth this nostalgic memory and make songs out of it. And they always sound so nice. Nostalgia in general is one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorite emotions to play with and talk about. It's a really interesting one to me because it's not necessarily an emotion. It's a mind space, but a lot of things can trigger those feelings. And the point of songs like this are to trigger those. It's to play around with that and see how much you can trigger those emotions in various people. How broad can that reach be? And I think that's really cool. I haven't heard a song that Adam has written that I haven't liked yet, so I really don't have anything negative to say about it. It just made me feel good. So I think that's about all I have to say for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Sorry, Adam, for not recognizing it was your work in the last video. I know you don't care all that much, but maybe you won't laugh at me next time i don't <laughs> but either way if you like this video and you want to see more leave a comment down below with the song you want me to get to and i will try and do my best to get to it other than that if you want to follow me and support me and all that you know how to do so and i will see you in the next video goodbye